Welcome to episode one of the weekly intake. We are, uh, we're the weekly intake here to make sure you start your Saturday with a splash of sodium. That's what we're going for. I promise alliteration will be a theme on this show. Before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is John Horstman. I also go as Kick Tripod all over the internet. I do a well met Hearthstone podcast, the Payload and Overwatch podcast, and Return to Orbit, a Destiny podcast. And from time to time, I'm streaming, hanging out in this guy's stream here with me every every Saturday morning at a way ungodly hour. Uh, is going to be Trevor Made. Trevor, what's up, man? Tell us about yourself. What's up, dude? Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Um, I am Trevor May. I am a Major League Baseball player, Twitch streamer, occasional DJ, and I currently have only this podcast. So um, <laughs> welcome to the daily intake, or the daily intake, the weekly intake. Yeah, are we, go, this is are we going one, daily Jeff. now? Is that it? Are we going to, I can't do 7.30 a.m. Daily. daily, man. Okay, we'll go, we'll go one, or, one hour earlier, because it sounds like it's not early enough, and oh, uh, every single day. Uh, this is the weekly intake. Um, you, you see the salt shaker there on the logo, um, that is going to give you an idea of what the theme is here at the weekly intake, um, where we're going to talk general gaming as my number one job isn't video games. So, um, that's kind of where we're going with my other job talking about <laughs> video games. So, uh, uh, here's where we're going to talk general video games, uh, being salty because that's something that we realized we had in common right away um, and just generally having fun. Um, so we're, we're going to start off this week one uh, episode with literally the most general gaming co topics there are uh, out there in the gaming world um, and, and trying to give a, a more, give the, give the, the listeners and the viewers a little more uh, opportunity to figure out um, where our kind of gaming allegiances lie and and what we're excited about coming up soon um, in the gaming world. There is going to be, um, I know Gamescom's coming up. That is one of our topics today. Uh, but we're going to touch on if you play video games at all or watch Twitch at all or, or listen to any sort of gaming podcast or literally heard the word video games in the last month, you're going to know about Destiny 2 is being released this year. Yes. Uh, Come on. Sorry. Yes. Way Overwatch, too excited. Yes. Overwatch has had people either are whining about it or love it. And uh, 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 and then this other game, you may have heard of it, Player Notes Battlegrounds, um, and as it pertains to Gamescom. Um, so those are our topics for today. Um, but first, I would love to start off um, because I know I might get booed here. I did not play or I did not give Destiny 1 the time I think I should have. Um, I was super intrigued by this. You did get booed there. Yes, sir. Boom. That was it. Uh, How many? We got, We are three minutes and 54 seconds in. First boo has been uh, given. So. And, he, and here I am not even knowing that you had a boo clip. So I'll try to avoid that in the future. Um, <laughs> I, I did not play Destiny 1. It, it, it was something I was super excited about because of my years and years and uh, hundreds and hundreds of days playing World of Warcraft combined with my love of first person shooters. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's a, it's a MMO plus a first person shooter. I'm gonna do all this stuff. But the real, what I realized very quickly is leveling and not playing the, not learning the game with someone was like, I was just playing by myself. I just did not get into it. So we have Destiny 2 coming out. Um, I know that you have a Destiny podcast. I know that you are an avid Destiny 1 player and that you were excited for Destiny 2. So, the same way that I was sold for Destiny 1, I would like you to sell me and our listeners slash viewers, because this is a live broadcast podcast. Yes. Um, uh, on Destiny 2, what is so exciting? Why is it different than Destiny 1? Um, and generally, like, what are, the, what are your most, what are you so excited about? 
All right, let me let me break it down for you. First, I want you to know I can empathize. I can empathize with how you felt about Destiny 1. Destiny is an MMO. You try to play an MMO by yourself, you're going to have a bad time. I before Destiny 1, I was actually a big World of Warcraft player. I was a world top 25 shadow priest. I lost many many a summer and winter to that game, I tell you. But it was, you know, I played it a lot. I really love the MMO grind, the progression of an MMO, but I was also uh, a competitive Halo 2 player. So traveled a bit playing competitive Halo 2, and it was an absolute blast. Take my favorite game, fuse them together. You've got Destiny, right? Destiny 1 Ooh. vanilla sucked. Let, let, let's just be real for a second. It sucked. It wasn't a very good game. There wasn't much story. There, Nobody knew what we were doing. It's it's a joke. It's a meme on the internet with Destiny now where uh, <laughs> the, the, the answer to the most important questions in the game ended up being, I don't have time to tell you this now. That, that was literally in, the, in Destiny 1. It's like, there's no time to talk about this right now. Like, we have we're to fight these guys <laughs> again. We're standing in an open field in an MMO. You've got all the time in the world, man. I'm just grinding out some farming on spin metal. I don't know. But they're, towards the end of Destiny 1, they really started to hit their stride and understand where, where Destiny should be as an MMO, and I think a lot of it might be thanks to how closely they've been working with Blizzard. Uh, Blizzard and Bungie are both part of Blizzard Activision, the the giant, giant, huge conglomerate yeah. company. And so they, they do share some talent. Destiny 2 is going to be on the Battle.net launcher with World of Warcraft, Diablo, and Overwatch. So you're going to launch it the same way. You're using the same friends list and social features that you get in Battle.net. Uh, and, and so they've been, it's it's obvious that they've been learning a lot from the World of Warcraft team. So why Destiny 2? Well, Trevor, I think this one is going to be an easy one for me. First, did you see that 4K trailer? Yes. Okay. The trailer was great. That's the reason I, I'm like, okay, but this is how they got me last time. Okay. I got excited because it told the, I don't know. It was just, it was a great, it's a great trailer and it made me laugh. And, but it's 4K. I, I it's 4K, it's 4K unrestricted frame cap, 4K Destiny 2. No, I prefer 30 frames. 30 frames per second. The human eye can't I've, perceive more than 30 frames, Trev. So, no, it can't, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's it's totally, good. that's totally a true yeah. thing. That's why, that's why someone can hit a 98 mile an hour fastball. <laughs> They're only seeing it at 30 just, frames per second. It's Let only me tell coming you, at 30 frames. Don't Let blink. Me tell you, <laughs> tell you, just you know, swing and hope. I guess you have to line the flight frames up with the ball yeah. leaving the pitcher's hand and the ball yeah. being about a foot in front of the plate. That's all you have to yeah. do. That's how that works. Uh, so, anyways, there we go. Got got my baseball analogy in for the day. All right. But the the biggest problems with with Destiny Two, and, and honestly, there are things that every MMO has had to face of all time is they're getting fixed here, Trev. This is this is going to be good. First, content pacing. They've they say they've got a plan for content pacing. It's content pacing is tough in an MMO, right? Because you've got millions of players of different skill levels, different time commitment levels playing the same content. How do you make sure that the most hardcore players always have something to do while the casual players don't get overrun? buy content and never get to experience anything because they're balancing for the people who can play 40 hours a week, right? So we saw a lot of content drought with Destiny 1. And th they say that it's going to be fixed. And how World of Warcraft has fixed it and how I'm willing to guess the uh, Destiny fixes it is they, they do a lot more like in-game events. Right. So it's not yeah. just like the raid. Once you've done the raid a few times, boom, you've beat everything in Destiny. Every few weeks, there's always something new to experience and, and, and hang out and do. You like, got that. do you think there's, was there a daily system and stuff in one? 
Well, they, they do k- kind of. There are like weekly events that you always have to do, like the nightfall, and that changes oh. every week. And the nightfall has modifiers that make uh, the nightfall more difficult or in some case easier to uh, to complete. But it will be like, oh, this week everyone takes arc damage and you do more damage while you're in the air. So you have to change. You want to change your loadout to loadout to, uh, like you know, complement that. So the nightfall is as this is not a word as, as easy as possible, right? <laughs> I was gonna say what unhard. Word you say? I was gonna say uh, unhard, and then <laughs> now I'm like, there is a word for this. This shouldn't be that easy, or this should be There's easy. A lot oh, wait, easy, that. easy. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> don't, it's, it's not unhard okay okay uh, all right all right all right that's enough so content pacing number awesome. two i'm gonna be playing so you know you're gonna have at least one friend to be playing with right that's a good point right yeah. like we're, we can hang out and play do it and figure out what we're gonna talk about on this show every week here's here's the bigger the biggest problem with destiny 2 or destiny 1 that destiny 2 is fixing the the loot and Trevor, imagine imagine you're running through a raid, and okay. you get this shiny new exotic. Right, goes up, bing. You see this nice yellow li- icon on the right hand side. You do your little Trevor dance. I've seen it. Don't don't lie. I've seen the Trevor dance. Okay, you see that you're so excited. You open up your exotic to see what it is. The name of the exotic you like, you immediately know this is a really great exotic. And then you start reading through the perks. And you realize that it has some of the worst roles and perks of all time. Of all time. So it'd have to be a legendary, I suppose. But still, this the, the same thing is, is every piece of weapon and armor in, in the game has perks. And they're randomized, meaning... That sometimes Not they're good, sometimes they're bad. Which means that, like, honestly, I know people who have kept, like, five versions of the same gun before just for the perks. Be like, oh, well, this one's really good for PvP, and this one's really good for PvE with arc damage, and this one's really good if, if you need to shoot from the air. Dumb. Just dumb. So they're getting rid of all of that. There's no more randomized perks on your 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 gear, so you're just good to go. Um, which means so that I will. Does that mean each so each gun will just have its perks, and then that's what it's going to have? They're just going to call a bunch of stuff different guns now. No, no, uh, kind of, but no. Okay. They're, they're taking okay. care of perks in a different way through something okay. that we don't know a whole lot about yet, called mods. So every piece of gear except for exotics, have mod slots. So you can mod, presumably, you can mod your guns to have certain perks that better fit your play style. Wow, look at that. Look at that product placement. Anyway, continue. So so real talk, I actually want to know what that is because I've Uh, never seen or heard of it. This is Madrinus Coffee TM. MadrinusCoffee.com. Code TMA for 40% off Madrinus Coffee. Anyway, did you? Fair enough. Let, let me know if you can get us a Red Bull sponsorship. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. Rip. Uh, it's bad, bro. <laughs> it's true. It's so bad for you. It's so bad for you. Uh, so, Trevor, that's going to be a lot better for you. It is. I need to be okay. honest. It is. Right. Here's Here's something I know you're going to love. I've been watching you play a lot of Overwatch, and I've been watching okay. you play a lot of PUBG. And I, and you and I get salty about one thing I think on stream more than anything else is when we lose to people who are better than us or who are worse than us. We're the better yes. player, but we still Very clearly. lose. Yes. Drives me nuts, Trevor. Literally, I I had they had to put me on a third floor apartment here just because so that my I didn't have upstairs and downstairs neighbors. To, to bother when I yelled. Uh, so I am also on the top floor of my apartment complex. There we for go. For that specific reason. It's because we yell. We're yellers. We're old yellers. Yeah, I'm a yeller. Great, great movie, by the way. 
Great movie. <laughs> Check it out. Just came out on DVD. It's brand new. Nobody's heard of it before. That's old just out on VHS. Yeller. Old Yeller. VHS. Do you do you have a VHS player? I have a VHS player. I mean, I, I think at my house. Yeah, maybe. I, I probably not. It's probably I, ha- one of the I have a combos. VHS player. Like the 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 old time black like Phillips. VHS player. Oh, oh yeah. Like not like. Oh, I found a new for what? one. For uh, Watching my the Disney, original my, copy of Bambi. My Disney collection. Yes, Trevor. Okay, <laughs> if you I must know, I knew it. Disney collection. There's yeah. I've got a Disney collection, man. You gotta watch those original. It's I, it's VHS is the new vinyl. People will find a way to tell you that it's better. You can you can get everything you need. You only need one DVD. It's called frozen and you're good, dude. Just watch it over and over and over and over again. Right. Dude, you're not joking though. You're not <laughs> joking. Like it is best, best rewatchability ever made. Frozen. It's true. Josh Gad plays like the snowman. What is it? Gustav? Is that the name of the yeah. snowman in that one? Yeah. Amazing yeah. performance. Amazing, Amazing performance. performance. He should start doing children's know. birthdays. Well, there we go. Anyway, you were talking about. <laughs> okay, yeah. That was you're not about a, losing. a rabbit trap. Okay. So, more focus on gunplay, Trevor. In the past, it was okay. a very super heavy, ability heavy game. You know, Overwatch is to a point, but I like to think that it's not. You, you have a fighting chance. If you're a better player in Overwatch, unless you're like a Mercy going against a Doomfist, like then <laughs> you're gonna die. Good luck. You're just playing the wrong <laughs> class of hero. But you know, you have two 76s that go together. One's not going to win over the other, just simply because of you know anything. And, and using your ultimate is meaningful. That it's usually not enough to just pop for a one v one, right? Yeah. In Destiny One, that wasn't the case. You got your, you got your stupid super so much. It was just a bunch of these snot-nosed kids running around with their titans that they paid a Sherpa on one of the Destiny <laughs> subreddits to run them through flawless in Trials of Osiris and. Now they're just running and doing their ultimate super thing. It was so dumb. It was so dumb. So Destiny that, And that's two. what I told you when we were coming over the show. I'm like, yeah, I, I got to level 10, went in the Crucible once, and also I was just getting rained on from my Titans. These guys were just coming. I was like, where are these people coming from? And that's all it was. I just die over and over to a to Titan, Titan super. That's it. Yeah. So I was like, this sucks. I hate it's, it. It's getting fixed. Yeah. It's getting well. Okay. They're they're changing it. I don't I don't know if I don't think Bungie would call it. They're fixing it. I would say they would yeah. say they're changing it. But let's be real, they're fixing it. Okay. And last awesome. but not last but not least, I've got one more for you, Trev. I've got one more okay. pitch. And if this doesn't get you, I don't. I I cannot convince you. I cannot convince right. you to play Destiny Two. Do you enjoy strawberry pop tarts? Um, you know. I'll say yes. Well, I've got good for news like, for I you. I don't not like them, but, you know, 27 married, you know, I, Pop-Tarts haven't <laughs> Pop been in the pantry in a couple years. <laughs> Listen but here. They're about to make perks. <laughs> they're about to make a return, okay? So, okay. Uh, Destiny, like Star Wars, has found a way to put their logo and bonus XP on just about anything. So, okay. that includes... Rockstar energy drinks and pop tarts. So buy a box of pop tarts, get some bonus XP for a couple hours. Just pop in the code, boom, you're ready to go. Not only can you enjoy the wonderful taste of a strawberry pop tart in your mouth in the, your Saturday morning, not only you can just you, pa- you pause before you said mouth, like, like is there another like, one for mouth to make this? Okay. Well, in I guess I'm in say your mouth. not nose, uh, you know, just like not hard, <laughs> just like in your not nose. And uh, you can, you can play destiny to level up faster, get some more XP, get those guns leveled up a little bit faster. And same with rockstar energy drinks. I can't do Rockstar Energy drinks. I'm going to be honest. They're a way, they're literally like a strawberry in a can. They're way too fruity for me. 
Really? Yeah. Uh, like the original Rockstar tastes like cough syrup. So that's rough. But I have to say there was a point in my life where the juiced mango Rockstar, like the half juice, half Rockstar one, was like, that Every was the day. one. That was that was the that was the addiction. And then, and then Amp released all their flavors, mm. and at our local Shell gas station, which was like three blocks from my house in high school, they were two for two fifty. So, what were you blasting on the radio in your car while you were drinking your what was it? Your juiced Rockstar. What was I blasting on my radio in two thousand seven? Two thousand seven. Uh, was it like uh, Usher? A little weight in the dedication too. Dang. Uh, low way or like that's when he was just like mixtaping and doing the the remix mixtapes and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, there was a lot of low way happening. Um, 2007. Uh, 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 how about this one? For we you? graduated the same year, right? We're we're both 27. Do you two graduate 2007 or 2008? Eight. I was 2008. Me too. So Me too. Seven eight. Yeah. So I. Uh, who who else? Uh, oh, the big one. Oh my gosh, Soulja Boy. Yep. That was, that was the year of Soldier Boy telling. Choreographed that dance at prom with my with my buddies. We we yep. we got to Soldier Boy. That yeah, it was it was pretty good. Our our class motto okay. was Gladiator. Literally eight years old. Literally eight years old. Russell Crowe hadn't done anything good since except for a beautiful mind. And that that was our class motto. What we do in life echoes throughout eternity. Maximus wow. Decimus Meridius. Father wow, to a murdered son. For a high school. Uh. Father to a murdered or father to a murdered son. Husband to a murdered wife. Sorry. Uh, I can almost quote. Great that movie. movie. It is a great movie. Good I, movie. I need re, we need re, Russell Crowe uh, back. Uh, we need right, well, sexy Russell Crowe back. So uh, that, that's it's it. fine. He, he was... <laughs> He was great in uh, um, uh, La Miz. Anyway, uh, <laughs> okay. topic two. Uh, go moving on. We're going to move on from. Okay, so Destiny 2 sounds great. Uh, gonna I'm going to be it? honest. I'm going to play it. Uh, uh, now, whether, to be honest, I'm going to play it on console, and then I'm going to play it on PC. Me too. Um, now that 200 my, bucks. Now that, now that my wife is obsessed with video games, beat Zelda, uh, uh, A Breath of the Wild, which I haven't done. And then I now haven't she's done playing, either. Katie she's has, playing, though, my fiance. She's playing. She's playing Stardew Valley on Xbox. So she's, she's, it's over. It's over. She's never going to stop. So what, but the, I bought her an Xbox. We have our PS4 and we also have our Switch now. So like I, we can play all the games. Uh, I'll play Destiny 2. I know that the, uh, the beta is coming up very soon. Next for weekend, PC. this weekend? Yeah, for PC. Next weekend. Uh, next, so, weekend. Remember, next weekend. So that's actually during Gamescom. So I'm going to be uh, 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 catching p- pieces, of ga- pieces of games come between streams of Destiny 2 with the rest of Twitch. So I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm going to go in, uh, try to get some people, try, you know, obviously one, we got one friend, uh, and there's a lot of people going to be playing it. So that may, maybe that'll scratch that itch and, and get that ticket. But we need to move on because Fine. as we're trying to keep this an hour show, <laughs> it's not you know, we have no yeah. shot, probably ever going to do that, but we're going to try really hard. Uh, the next, Topic we're going to talk about Overwatch. There's been a lot of developments in the game. Um, you know, Blizzard again, uh, their games just like any other games go is, is a roller coaster. On sometimes they're going to be in a peak. Sometimes they're going to be on a, in a valley with with where the game's gone, meta and all that stuff. Especially in a competitive game where there's a bunch of different characters to do different stuff. There's always going to be a group of characters that are the best for every for for the highest levels. Yes, um, absolutely. The, the key is making sure that there's six metas and then there's like six that are viable that can be kind of swapped in and out totally. right now. It's like, Counters, well, yeah. there, last time I played three weeks ago, there was six viables and everyone else was worthless. So, uh, and now that the, the people honestly Doomfist kind of like loosen that up because everyone's like, I just want to play Doomfist. Um, and then he's worked his way in and he does crap tons of damage. Like you said, he just like looks at a mercy and she's dead. So, um, which I, Thank God I'm not a mercy man because I would just I'd be like, where where is he? He's always above me. I'm dead. Uh, yep. Um, so I I guess uh, I know that they changed Zarya is all they changed McCree up a little bit. You know, people uh, and I'm a huge Zarya player. I know you are. Um, yeah. And which is which has made her better. Um, uh, a better. Her a lot better. And and actually having Doomfist 
played so much now with his quick damage output that if you're good with your bubbles, you can actually get, instead of like a, a diva and a monkey chasing your, like going, they're both going full bore on your supports and you bubble them and you still get like nine charge, which makes yeah. no sense. And, and you're like, I, I don't know. They're still going to kill her. <laughs> And I don't have any charge also, and I save her, but she's still going to die because there's no way that I can kill you. Yeah, so it was, it was now you can play her. So the meta, meta technically, I, I know is getting better. Um, and as the meta gets better, the toxicity will go down a little bit. So that, that's something I'm, I'm going to make my, my, my uh, uh, journey back very soon. Uh, uh, PUBG just happened to come out and, and kind of get become a big game like at the same time that Overwatch meta kind of just, Killed me. So, um, so I, in my opinion, and I have played it a few times, and, and and since then they've added what they've added Lucio Ball competitive, which people are like. I love going, Rocket League and Overwatch. I'm going for that top 500. I'm getting that spray, I, Trevor. Everybody, there's this. Everyone's like, oh, oh, I like a couple people in my chat are like, oh, I placed like 4200. I'm like, I'm 100. percent I'm gonna place like silver. <laughs> like I don't know how I'm so bad. I, I am ten. I am, I am the the frying pan and PUBG of Overwatch rank. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. I I don't. I whatever. It's just I'm I'm trying to keep. Of course, everything makes me salty if I do something stupid or if I don't win. So I I think it's 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 moot to even worry about it. So I'm not going to. Um. Uh. But they have Lucio Ball, and then they're they're working on the death match, which a lot. Actually, the what I've heard is really good players love deathmatch because you want to get good at a character. You can go into deathmatch and you can just play you versus everybody, and you're gonna get that muscle memory very, very quickly. So yeah, in that context, especially the offense heroes, yeah, for sure. You don't want to play heroes. Mercy in deathmatch to no. get de well. Actually, Mercy, I don't know. I I might eat my words there. I've heard some people that it's really good at letting you learn how to hide. But in the free for all death death match, you do not want to play mercy. Cannot res yourself. Learn that the hard way. Just kidding. That's that's never that's been obvious. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, you probably want to play mercy. But again, everyone's like, you know, I, I, at least I feel like me and my group that of people I know that play Overwatch are constantly going to the. I'm tired of playing tanks. I want to play a DPS, and I can't just do that in comp like everyone whines and I'm just not good enough yet. And I don't, I want to win. So I should probably have some other way to learn a character. That's not quick play because quick plays a joke and no one's going to heal you and you're not going to get any better if you're trying to play McCree. So Truth. you're just not going to get any better there. You're just going to die playing six V one. So, um, um, yeah. And then Doomfist is always being played. So there's so many people playing Doomfist trying to get better at Doomfist. So I think it's great in that context and anything deathmatch. Honestly, maybe it'll maybe it'll allow all the people who just want to play deathmatch anyways in comp. If all they care about is chasing people around and trying to kill them, uh, maybe they have somewhere to go do that now. So, so you know, I've heard that it has to leave some of the stress from. And, and uh, again, a lot of this comes from things I hear in in pretty serious Discord channels on the serious Reddit and from serious stream. So, like, mm. these are all the top one percent of the players, right? So, uh, as the meta, I don't think. I think in the mid ranks wasn't literally. It didn't. It didn't kill people because there was. There is no meta in Platinum, guys. Like we could do the meta, and we'll probably win. But for the most part, you know, Hanzo ain't going away. The meta. So, the meta in Platinum in Diamond is not specific heroes. It's just hating on anybody who plays a hero that you don't like. <laughs> just like, yeah. So, oh, you're Junkrat, even though he's destroying everybody and it's fine and you're winning. Like, I've never had so many games where we won and everyone's just screaming at each other at the end. I'm like, dude, we just won. Hey, like, Lucio, easy. you going to break it down today or next week? Let me know. Yep. Oh, you're okay. Like, next dude. round? You're just saving it for next <laughs> round? That's not one. You're saving it for next bro, round? It doesn't, like, it doesn't carry over, bruh. And he's like, bro, I'm a I'm an anime and I don't even know what you're, and you're like. What? Do you, what? <laughs> and then, just... then it becomes a shit show. My 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 favorite response is like, I'm really high right now. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm like, why are you in competitive play? But anyways, it's video games, bro, and and you do this. So, um, I am. So yeah. So I, yeah. I say anyway. I think the meta the meta's on a better better place. And and for me, Overwatch constantly evolving. And the, actually, Blizzard just taking an active role 
in like saying, hey, we get it. Like we're working at ways, but we're not going to do the ways that you are telling us to do. We're going to figure out our own ways. And they've, they've, they've done it. So up to this point, you know, year into the game over a year, like they've, they've made the changes that that are keeping people playing it. So that's good. And, you know, like World of Warcraft, everyone remembers Warlords of Draenor. OK, I remember <laughs> a lot of people like Cataclysm. I remember Cataclysm. Freaking I didn't like gosh. it at all. I loved but, Cata yeah. rating. A lot of people it. loved Cata because it went went back to this, a lot of the old school stuff. So. Right. Um, but again, that Cata was what? Sorry, Cata is when they, they like you said they tried to do the casual and serious player giving lots of content. LFR tourist mode and rating. Yeah, tourist I remember mode that. rating. Absolutely. Oh, the guy just sits and hits your tank. He actually doesn't do any we of his abilities, and if you get hit by him, you live anyways. So it's fine. Don't we worry about it. Just want you to experience the story. Like, how about you just give me a YouTube video, bro? Like, come on. How about I just wake up and all the gear from the boss is in my mailbox? How about that? That'd be uh, great. Thanks. Uh, I don't feel very good that this guy who raids 30 hours a week has better gear than I do. <laughs> like, let's be real. Makes feel bad. I pay $15 a month, too. Yeah, um, that's true. That's so, $15 and $60 per expansion, okay? That's like $200 a year. I should at least get the top-level gear. Yeah, mm -hmm. at least um, for for my uh, a game immersion. Uh, so uh, <laughs> back to, to, to back to Overwatch. Um, you know, I've, I I was going to talk a lot about Doomfist. To be honest, I played him a couple times. It's really cool. Uh, he's like Genji, man. You got to have if you have really really good nope awareness and nope. able to turn around really really quickly and then nope. land all the stuff right on where you're trying to go uh, uh you i want to make really we need to make that into a gif of what you just did on video you're like if you can but and not in <laughs> like are you what are the, have what the are the, up right now you're like a it's just, it's, it's, you're like a baton twirler for yeah. uh like a marching band or something it was amazing yeah uh we're gonna make that into a, a uh that's happening. <laughs> that's happening yeah we're gonna do it we're gonna do it so um yeah, I think I think he's cool. I, I I like that they that he's in the game. I mean, obviously he's got he's got a one there uh, more or less a one shot mechanic on people with two hundred health. Which can I be honest? It's, can I be honest with you, Trev? Yeah. Is it okay to be honest on this show? Yeah, I have not touched competitive or anything except for Lucio Ball since July. Same. Uh, same. I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. Bit, I, I just need those. to be real. I'm like, we're going to go PUBG. PUBG. Just give me PUBG. Give me Path of Exile. I'm good for right now. I'll wait till season six. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm waiting until season six, and then it'll, it's going to be a flood. Like people flood back. They usually do the, the 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 patch before. And right now, like all the Lucio Ball and stuff, it's retaining people who are salty, which is cool. Um, which but let's let's even even talking about Overwatch. Um, uh, also the content that people can get if they like watching on Twitch. Um, you know, because a lot of streamers have kind of taken a step back and been like, all right, it's kind of making me really, really angry when I play. I uh, hate depending on people as much. Um, we go we right now that the World Cup is going uh, yeah. and Contenders is coming up soon. Um, and then eventually, though, Overwatch League. So uh, real question is, will anyone score a point on South Korea at any point during the World Cup? I say there is literally no shot. They are going to full hold. Everyone but the maybe the next three highest teams. I think like they're rank one, obviously. The two, three, and four might have a chance of like pushing the crap to a point at some point, but no one's gonna take a map. Like it's gonna be like even on even on Dominion or yeah, even on Dominion maps or, or a, a control point, like that they're not gonna lose ever. Uh, it's crazy. I don't the nuts. I, and, and that's all and then they, 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 and the thing they're like, hey, you know. How excited are you to be here uh, in the World Cup? And then every interview is like, I think we can beat South Korea. That's what everyone has said. Like, it's no true. one's, they're like, they haven't talked about themselves. Like, we just want to go to the world stage and play a South Korea. And yeah. everyone has said that, even the American team. They're like, uh, uh, is it going to happen? The, my, my, honest, my honest opinion as a professional uh, uh, competitor myself is uh, uh, they are the Russian hockey team in the movie Miracle up until the Miracle happens, obviously. Um, Which is USA, right? It's Jake. 
and Sinatra putting the team on their backs. Little montage action for sure. And then, boom, we take it, right? That's what you're about to say. But again, that might have to happen because we got to remember that uh, Russia had like not lost a match in 12 years or something at that point. Uh, And then won every world championship like in a sweet fashion. So maybe that needs to happen for a few seasons here. (laughs) Yeah, maybe. Uh, But, uh, you know. We'll see, I guess. I'm going to be watching. I, I I love the production. I think Blizzard's doing a good job with that. So that's also exciting, all the stuff they're doing for their professional leagues and stuff. It's just kind of unprecedented. Um, and like you said, they're Blizzard Activision. They're a $40 billion company. The like, sky's kind of the limit with what they can do. So it's going to be fun to watch, I think. And I'm actually going to BlizzCon. So anyone who's going be. to BlizzCon. I will see you there. Yes. I'm going to BlizzCon and TwitchCon. So, um, Me too. So, yeah, we will. Uh, uh, I mean, those are going to be weekends. So. Yes. There's a chance that maybe we have to do a uh, a vlog type uh, uh, out in the out in the out on the floor <laughs> podcast. A completely hammered weekly intake. Weekly intake, yeah, because that yeah, let's do it. Um, All right, but uh, a little bit more. Uh, Can I ask you a news. question really quick? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Do you yeah. so so? There's a few teams, UK, China, UK, China. South Korea went 12 and 0 and then USA went 11 and 1. Presumably that's what you're looking at for your top 4 with yeah. South Korea. Any chance any of those put up a fight against I like I don't see, I think I think UK was a fluke. UK was a fluke. But any chance that USA um China and um and or, or even like France. France went ten and two, but that's rogue, dude. Like one of the best rosters in the world. Any it's chance rogue without Defran, right? Uh Defran was selfless. Oh, he was selfless, but yeah. Defran's French, is it not? My my That's okay. All I know is that France has always had the full rogue roster. Okay. So um any chance? Yes. So, honestly, if it's anybody, it's probably France. Um, The problem with it is, is, so Korea is just completely, their their damage is really good, but their, it's like their, 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 their tanks are, their tanks can carry, if that makes sense. So, like, uh, like, like for Jake and Sinatra, they're, they're amazing damage players, right? But the tank play on South Korea is their their next level uh, uh, play, and that's and they shut down da- DPSs like they just do. And so uh, anyone who's fully carried and 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 has their or fully carries his damage like like the traditional way, uh, usually the tank play players are technically supporting the damage that kill everybody. So uh, I just think they're going to out tank play everybody. Like that's, that's where, so that's where it comes down. That's where we saw last year when you remember Russia was like, we have shadow burn and they're like, we don't care. And you're like, Oh yeah. The Wait. fact fiction and cool matter look pretty good for team USA. Fact like, fiction. Yes. They, fact, they've done, they've fact, made some big plays. Fact to fiction has played in my tournaments. And uh, when he was on phase with, when he was on with the Zoms and like, they were just, they just rolled everybody like they won in my tournaments at three V threes and they, he would play. He is a pretty, pretty nutty Winston. So, I mean, when it comes to, and that's what, that's what happened too. Korea's Korea has played the dive characters really. That's also scary because they were playing them in the other meta, you know, they would play like they'd run a Winston or a diva uh, with a Zarya. Um, and they innovated and the anti-dive. Just, yes. And, and so that's where I'm going that there are adjustment to, to teams and, and, thinking on the fly and just the amount of practice they put in and knowing what everyone does. I mean, they might just have just advanced scouting, which is, which wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me at all. And of course, Korea is just known for their, their, just, their, 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 their video they game just talent. Have, they just understand video games on a completely different level. In my opinion. Yeah, they right do. Now. It's last, true. Last like, year when people were trying to put together world cup teams, were like, let's find the best six individual players. And South oh, Korea is like, right. nah, bro synergy and then this year the team's like let's find the best synergistic play and stuff I'm like nah bro 
something else, something, something better, something. I don't even know what it is. I, I, yeah. I think we'll find out as, as the Overwatch World Cup. And, and South Korea really gets challenged in that because, let's be honest, Netherlands, not, not a bad team by any means. I, I don't want to take anything away from the Netherlands. But Poland and Austria and, like, Turkey, Singapore, like, there's, you know, Russia and Canada. There's not – there's good, like, Canada. I, I was completely surprised by Canada that they did so well. Russia, I was completely not surprised that they did well. But, again, I don't think I expected them to be able to, you know, beat Team Korea. But there are five semi-week rosters in, in that group and – or in those in, – in that group stage. So – Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean – interesting. And you mentioned Brit, uh, Great Britain too. They they have a, a really well rounded team, and they have a lot of they've they've all played they play together a lot. Um, but again, like you 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 go to I don't want to say I don't know no one's being carried, but uh, like they're very like Cruz Cruz is Cruz their two D damage are they have their hit scan and then they have Cruz on Genji or Tracer right so like. Well, they have it's, it. They, their their group too, though, right? Was Israel yeah. and Belgium, which yeah, okay. Who? You know. uh, and then you know you've got Germany, so you've got like Skip Jack, you've got Internet Hulk, who hasn't played competitively in a long time. He's been coaching. I think he's with Team Liquid now. He went from he did some and, like temporary and he is coaching a in South player. Korea. We, and we have to talk about he's he's a shot caller. That his main value main value, especially with Envy, when they were. You know the the premier team is as the shot caller and the the, the support. Right, and so like it's not like he was carrying the team. Skip Jack and Internet Hulk are both on the competition committee as well, so they picked themselves for the team, which just tells you how deep Germany is. It's not that deep. <laughs> it's yeah, not that point. deep, and so you're like, okay, UK. Yes, it's impressive. They went twelve and zero. I just don't think that. I think that if you put them in Group G with USA, you put them in any of the group, South Korea's group, Canada's group, Japan's group, uh, Sweden's group would be interesting. I would love to see Group C with Sweden, Australia, and, like, put in, like, Portugal there and then move Italy mm -hmm. over to Group H. Like, that might be a really interesting uh, – that would be a really interesting group. But I just think UK lucked out a little bit on the group's – and so, yeah, that's just my opinion. Yeah, and and I mean, of course, they're they're gonna they're gonna move on, and, and I wish we'll them see. luck. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll see, but probably, I'm not holding my breath now. Again, no. can can Conor McGregor beat Floyd Miller? I mean, it's not impossible, but it's gonna be probably really boring, and it's gonna be a guy who doesn't know how to box chasing another dude who who just has been running away for the last ten years of his career, and he's forty. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. For a long time, it's going to be really boring. That's why I'm not going to watch it. I'll wake up to Twitter either freaking out or being really disappointed. Yeah. That's the two things that uh, uh, it's it's easy for me. But the last, uh, I want to okay. hit this last topic really quick yeah. before we move on to Gamescom and uh, our new new game that we've alluded to over and over again that we love. Uh, there's a new, new Junkertown map and Junker shortcoming possibly at Gamescom. That means Junkrat and Roadhog. Um, uh, hopefully with that, they say, Hey, we fixed Rokog back to where it was. I knew you guys were all whining about it and, uh, you didn't know what the alternative was. We're sorry. He's back. Now the game can be played again. Uh, mm, but, uh, you know, that's all interesting to me now. Now with these shorts, and I do love the shorts. I love the Bastion short. You know, I love the, um, what was the other one? Uh, so, yeah, you got Bastion, Bastion, you got Bastion. Soldier 76, you've got 76. Sombra. You've got. Um, Barbara, I love the shorts. Now I'm like, please just come out with a movie made by Pixar, and right. I'll watch it. Um, I, I want the anime no, I more. I want a, the Doom Fist anime more. Yeah. If I'm being honest. Yeah. 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 Well, that, that I I would watch that. And to be That's honest, I, at 27 here is I'm just now starting to give anime a little bit more of a more of my time. You saw the Doom Fist uh, like reveal trailer, right? Yeah. The yeah. the one where it's like it's like anime Saturday morning DC cartoon style. 
that yeah. style. That's what I want. I want it more than the Pixar style. But sorry, continue. Oh yeah, yeah. With the whole with tracer blinking around him and spinning around and trying to ripping that kernel yeah. accelerator. Yeah. Oh yeah, totally awesome. But again, like I, I go back and I'm like, okay, well, if it were Pixar, you can't have a Widowmaker in a Pixar movie. She's too intense, dude. Uh, I keep thinking she's like uh, uh, Gru from freaking uh, Incredibles and 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 think, is she going to make a joke right now? Oh, no, she really wants to murder everybody? Oh, okay. Uh, should it come to this? She's What's a little too intense. Time? Yeah. A little too she's... intense. Um, but uh, what what is your, I think you, uh, are you excited about this? Are you excited about a Junkertown map and the, the even, map even stuff. Is due? <laughs> I'm I'm sick. I'm sick of like these uh arcade maps i'm gonna be honest i'm sick of those i want more maps that i can play in competitive so i hope it's that not like you can play this in 3v3 deathmatch like i don't i don't want that anymore if it's a full well, map moon, i love moon it base is doing it for you moon lunar colony here moon base moon ba <laughs> moon oh, cool, you base go outside oh cool you'll never ever want to go outside cool yeah, thanks cool. Oh, this one guy went outside, jumped once, and fell off the map. Cool, cool guy. Thanks for making in this. Diamond. Spend the time it took You're to do good. it. Good. Um, so, uh, I, I'm I'm with you. Three. I think three v three tournaments are cool. I've hosted some like some charity stuff. Two v twos. We did a two v two with a bunch of streamers and pros, which was honestly one of the more fun things I've ever watched in this game. Especially because they were all in the same Discord and they were just yelling at each other and talking shit, oh, which nice. was hilarious. And the viewers loved it. Um, but outside of that, again, like, yeah, just show the competitive scene that you care about them. Let's like, please just not, not a gigantic map that where Torbjorn sitting in a corner behind Arissa is a thing. It, it, that's like the problem with two CP right now. Right. Is that there, every time we saw two CP at overwatch world cup, it felt like people are just like, cool. Let's let's play until seven. <laughs> like it's, yeah. Just the, Let's just walk on to the point because we're going to take it because yep. the, the oh. point's either way too open or it's way too close. Yeah. So it's either really easy to hold or really hard to hold. There's way no too way. far away from spawn point, way too close to spawn point. It's, yeah. Mercy can sit inside spawn and if you die anywhere, you're just like, all right, I'm going to hold right here. So she has a line of sight and she flies out and you let's do it again. In Gibraltar where she could be in the spawn point and just res up from inside yeah. the spawn like come on come on anyways so i i just hope to see like like a new map i'm, I'm all about cool let's go to australia let's let's do junker town i have no idea what it would be as far as i don't i don't know what junker town is or like the imagery associated with that but i'm really excited for that and i always love the digital shorts digital shorts yeah. are how i get my friends to play overwatch it's one of the because when you look at the game, it looks very kitty. It does. It's very cartoony. You watch a couple of the shorts and you're like, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. I want to play it. Get them in on a free yeah. weekend. Boom. Done. Easy yeah, mode. Easy. Easy. So yeah, I'm I'm interested to it too. Hold so on. that actually uh um completes our Overwatch topic for the day. We have a third topic here. Uh and it's Gamescom. And as an extension of Gamescom, because PUBG, uh, if you if you're if you are if you're familiar with any big player unknowns battlegrounds streamer, um, and and as I know that you are a Tim watcher, as am I. Um, yep. That there a meme has formed that there is a uh, a three hundred and four hundred fifty three hundred fifty thousand dollar trip. Well, I don't know what the number is. Three hundred fifty thousand exactly. USD. Three hundred fifty thousand dollar winner, winner, or prize pool for a player notes tournament. But every time you are killed around a corner, or you drop in and none of the buildings have rendered, or they have kind of rendered and you can just run through the walls and stuff, you like to slam your mouse and say three hundred fifty thousand dollar tournament esports ready. So it's going to be very interesting. This is the tournament that's being referenced in these memes, um, and it's going to be very interesting. But on the flip side of that, I'm I just want to know because of the elements of RNG and now now of course we could say you know RNG games you know being an esport it just doesn't uh, but you know, Hearthstone's huge so just shut up I, I understand <laughs> it's a huge strategy game but like come on man you, it's a one in thirty chance you're gonna get the card you need like 
Uh, sometimes your crap doesn't work together, and it, it's so. But the, all the strategy only goes so far. So that's what's going to happen here. You have to play very, very smart. And there's days where you have to put away your. You have to have patience for once. Say we're not going to be able to kill anyone for a while here. We have no gear, but we're in a tournament, and we have to stay alive for as long as possible, and possibly pick somebody off and be sneaky and hide and stuff. And that's that might be the strategy one day. So anyway, before we go super hardcore PUBG, yeah. Um, there's, uh, you know, obviously Gamescom, on, I believe, uh, in a lot of, uh, and to be honest, I'm not like, it's not like I've ever been like, Gamescom's this morning and went and watched it. So, so uh, I'm kind of learning about it as we go, but it is the big, big uh, um, it's conference big. coming up. It's a big deal. Where it's a big we're, deal. We're it's in the European con E3. season right now. We're in con it's season. So through December. Uh, yeah. So EA's got some things they're going to, they're going to re- reveal. Um, and I thought I'd touch on those FIFA 18. Or it's playable. Um, I don't know if it's a reveal, but it's playable. We know we're going to see it. Uh, it's probably going to look like FIFA. It's so true. If you, if Hasn't you like soccer, looked differently in 11,000 years. So, uh, and I'm sure it's going to have a huge playing group. Uh, people love, there's just so many teams, so many players, so much stuff. And they the, they got the whole like diamond system and things like MLB The Show has. Like all the games have done that where you collect cars and you buy packs and and that's awesome. Like it's, it gives it like a, there's always something to do feel. So honestly, I'm probably gonna pick up, pick up FIFA 17, play it. wanted wanted to do it on stream a little bit. Um, it's people play FIFA. It's fun. Okay, but Good game. big yeah. ones and 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 how how I, where I've gone, uh, first person shooters. You know, I'm a MOBA player and a, a MMO player, but lately it's just been straight up first person shooters because I I see how poor. I want to see direct correlation between the amount of play and the improvement in my aim. So the games that I care about, I just, I play the game in order, like concerted practice on purpose, practicing on purpose. So when I play off stream player in those battlegrounds, for example, I drop somewhere and I go get this gun. And I, and I, and I, if I have a choice between two guns, one that I use a lot, one that I haven't used as much. I choose the one that I haven't used as much so I can get better at it. Like that's, that's how my brain works. So, um, there, another game coming out now. Now they're talking about Battle One, uh, Battlefield One. I believe it's a additional content. Is it Rise of the Czar or something of the Czar? Oh, come on, Trevor. You should have the. It's the names right here. Hold on. I like um, good shooters. I don't play Battlefield. Name of Czar. Um, is a new DLC. Okay. So it's gonna be playable at Gamescom and Battlefield Two. Battle, so I, Battlefield 2? Battlefront? Battlefront. Battle, like the Star Wars one, right? Or is it Battlefield 2? Battlefront 2. Sorry, Battlefront 2. Battle, sorry. I was okay, talking about Battlefield. Like, so they're going to Battlefield. Sorry. That's on me. Battlefront 2, which I play Battlefront 1 a lot. And I really like it. Um, because, again, uh, uh, improved aim, so on and so forth. Now, I didn't play it on PC. I played it on a console only, actually. And uh, I really enjoyed that game for a while. That was actually before right before I started Twitch streaming. So that would before Overwatch came out, that would have been my first streamed game. Um, and then Battle Battlefront 2 uh, is playable <laughs> and Battlefield 1, the DLC, it, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna have that playable too. So yeah. um for me, EA, like I played Battlefield 1, the first one, it looks beautiful. And then I stopped playing it. Yeah. Uh because one for some reason, every game I went into forever uh, had no people in it, which was confusing to me. Okay, <laughs> and, fair enough. And uh, uh, there's just there's no one playing it, um, mm. and it was tough to play any. I would go in and I'd be like, honestly, I went in the last time I went in. I went in and I was like, let me see how the difference of the of the bullet drop is on the bolt action sniper rifle here as opposed to the Car 98 in PUBG. Dang. So I'm like, because I remember I started playing. Uh, battlefield and i was like oh there's bullet drop like bleh, everything's not hit scan this is this is like come on and and then uh, i was struggling with this so i couldn't lead anybody with a sniper rifle and now i play it i'm like this is easy as hell there's like nobody you barely have to lead sure. and now now i've been leading guys from 600 meters and in, in, uh, in that other game so like yeah I, I don't know it's am i gonna play it yeah uh, uh, will my chat probably vote for one of these games for S- Sub Sunday one of these times? Probably. They love uh, that. It'll be that and Dream Daddy again or something. 
uh, which I had to give, I had to give an hour of my time and uh, that I'll never get back. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, the EA has got a few, uh, uh, they're, they're releasing. Um, I'm mo- most excited for battlefront. I, I probably will actually give that some more time, but as for battlefield, I'm probably out on the game. I'll probably end up playing it for a second. It'll probably be a $40 or DLC or something nuts. Um, mm. with some maps that no one are going to play, and I'll probably move on. And FIFA, FIFA's FIFA, guys. If you like FIFA, go try FIFA. But uh, you, you can catch all this stuff at Gamescom. I believe it's next week. Uh, yeah. But, uh, uh, and uh, so, yeah, those are the things that I, I was I saw. And, you know, when it comes to EA, you know, they, they've made a lot of games that I played growing up that they, right. you know, some sports games they don't make anymore. So um, uh, I always have a EA makes a game. I'll be like, okay, what is it? I'm, I'm, right. My interest is peaked. So I guess, you know, those are the big ones. Everyone knows about that stuff. So right. um, and we'll try them. But as for true excitement. Here's here, here's something that I'm excited about. You ready okay. for this? So Xbox One X pre-order info. We're getting that. Really okay. excited. Number two, uh, last year at Gamescom, I be, or not last year, two years ago at Gamescom, um, we got the... I want to say last year or two years ago, we got the uh, World of Warcraft Legion uh, oh, yeah. trailer, right? Or the, the teaser trailer, not the full one with Varian Rin on the ship, but the small one of Gul'dan walking through the cave and, and kind of. Uh, in, they got my blood pumping. Yeah. Like it, it was. I remember sick. like, it's back. So we've got, it's we've back. got, right? It's like, we're going back. It's Legion. They really crushed this expansion. I wish I wanted to play World of Warcraft more. Um, but there's going to be that. We're going to hear some more stuff from Hearthstone as well. So, like, there's I, there's a few things I'm excited about. Honestly, uh, Katie, my fiance, and I have been saving because we know we're going to get two Xbox One Xs when they come out. I'm just really excited to hear. So you can play simultaneously. Yeah, together. she plays. She loves. Over, literally, I got her to play Overwatch on my Xbox, and that week she went out and spent six hundred dollars on Overwatch and Xbox One and uh, a pair of wireless gaming headsets. I win, right? Jackpot! Next yeah, weekend, I put I'm a ring doing the on same that. Thing. I'm Next, indoctrinating just like you are. Yep. Put a, I put a ring on that so fast. Yeah. Be like, all right, yeah. we're getting married. Here it is. Um, but yeah, so there's there's some really cool stuff coming out here. I had, you hit you hit my other highlights though for sure. And then obviously we have Pax West going on the week after that, which I'm sure we'll talk about on next week's show. But yeah. I th- Ooh, Pax West. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's in in Seattle, where you are not. Where I am not, which I can only go to so many things. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a TwitchCon and BlizzCon this year. Those are I the guess, big two, but... man. Those those are out of everything I've ever been to. TwitchCon and BlizzCon are my favorite. I'm bummed because I live in Denver and DreamHack Denver and TwitchCon are on the same weekend. No way. This I'm so upset. I'm like, I've never had a gaming convention in the city that I lived in ever before. I'm and sure of course, it's awesome too in Denver. I bet I yeah I bet it would be really sick. So I'm yeah. I'm upset. I'm actually going to be moderating a podcasting panel at TwitchCon, and oh, so yeah. yeah, so I'm going out there. If I didn't get a panel, I probably wouldn't have gone. But um, just because I'm only going to see DreamHack Denver probably a handful of times ever, ever or a DreamHack event. So um, I'm just I get to go as a fan and just. Like hey, I'm partnered. What's up? And they'll be like, "Oh, you play games." I'm like, "Sometimes." Yep. Uh, I do. Yep. <laughs> and That's I'm, why I'm. Here. And I'm not very good. And they're like, "Oh, we're not either." And then the you know, then guys the limit. Uh Anyway, uh, um, so I, I'm excited uh, for all of the things you just said. Uh, you, you've hit on a, a lot of them. Honestly, if there is a big, honestly, when it comes to especially WoW, if there's ever like. They come out with a, 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 a trailer for anything. Yep. I will try whatever it is. I, it's it's every single time. I, I went back to every every single uh, expansion when I realized that nobody I knew was playing anymore. I just, but I bought it and I paid for that month every time. So yep. um, Legion caught my attention again. I wish I would play that more. But uh, 
there, 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 there's pro- There's going to be a lot of very interesting things to talk about post Gamescom. Um, I believe it is next week, and we will be doing our podcast next week too. Probably at the beginning, there might be a little bit of, uh, of something to talk about there at the beginning, but uh, I'm probably gonna the week after that. I mean, we got Pax West too. It's just we got, we're gonna have a lot to talk about here in the next couple of weeks. But uh, right. um, those are the things that we're we're anticipating, and I'm sure something will come out of left field that we just did. That looks awesome. I didn't even know. Uh, but big thing is, I want to see how this PUBG tournament works. Um, I know that the charity one was fun. The charity one was fun. Of course, spectator mode was horrendous at that time. So it's interesting to see they've added a lot of tools for spectator mode, making it probably a little bit more fun to watch. Um, And now that we've watched like the big streamers, the TSM guys, uh, they're all, when they all play, they're all the biggest streamers, right? right. They're all playing on his team. And uh, um, I'm going to quietly be rooting for them. And, and to be honest, at the time of the, uh, of the stream or of the, uh, uh, the, Sorry, the we you just the charity tournament. Like mm-hmm. I didn't know who Vis and and I didn't know Smack and I didn't know and I know Vis and Smack played as a duo in that one. Sure. Um and, and they were like, I think they took second. And Grimms was in it too. And Grimms went to the end and I was I didn't know who these guys were. Like I did, I knew like I was of course I was watching Doc and Tim and, right. and which in hindsight, thinking that they had any chance to win is, is a little bit laughable. <laughs> it was an adorable, uh, yeah. Absolutely. was adorable and then they, and then you could tell they were like they go like, oh my god there's some really good players in this right. we're getting destroyed so uh um so i i'm interested to see because uh i know that uh it's just it's it's gonna be interesting to see how it's run it's gonna be interesting how fun it is to watch but i'm gonna watch it um and the money uh, if it works there's this really cool like moving forward here where people decide to go because it's still just this gigantic question mark over esports and player notes battlegrounds but as for the game like i said if, if you if you if you want to improve your aim at a game and you you take patience you better be patient and we've talked about this which is the opposite this, of what this podcast exists this for about, it's it's so, yeah if you want to catch uh, and I'll, I'll take this opportunity to plug Kicks Tripod. I am Trevor May. Check out the Twitch streams. We play PUBG. And if you want to see true, we we, we, we do not practice what we're preaching right now. Uh, and you you have a great opportunity. Like if you're running, uh, for me, I just don't have the patience for running for 21 minutes, looting, and then getting pinched because the circle screws us. We have to drive into it. Oh, no, we're in the open. And then I'm just dead. I'm like, running that simulator. was just a waste. Yeah. And then what I want to do is yell at my partner that drove us there, even though it's not his fault. So how did he not know where the randomly generated circle would go? Go and where all the people are holding the rocks. Um, right. But thank God, first person's come out. Thank God, of all things coming out. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, the the like the jumping puzzles where you're like where your character doesn't know how to jump or get up on things right. is going to change now how that'll affect someone sprinting to a wall and then vaulting over it. You're like, no, I, I, there was my chance and I blew it. Uh, uh, it's interesting. It's going to be, uh, hopefully it's not as, uh, hopefully it's got the little bit of the clunkiness PUBG is known for uh, to where like you're you slow way down and you get over it. you like, you don't like just vault over it like you do in, in Call of Duty and like slide. And then you're just exactly where you need to be and you're up and you're ready to sprint again. It's probably going to be like a step over. <laughs> Good, like really clunky barrel roll, uh, 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 and then slowly get up. Somersault, like back on. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, a lot of that's involved, and there's still like the like like there's a lag before you start sprinting all that stuff. They they get that correctly. I've heard their herds coming along. Um, that's what they've been saying for the last four months. <laughs> they said the animations look good, or whatever. And of course, I want them to get it right. And on top of all that, on top of all things, they're adding um, just a little bit. Of, well, I love PUBG news here. They're also adding new games, new guns, sorry. Guns that are not going to be in crates, like a P90, um, like one assault rifle, one SMG, and uh, no, I think it's two SMGs, and one's going to be similar to the Uzi. So mm. so worthless. So worthless. I don't know. What I need them to do is add those guns in, but keep the amount of everything else that comes in the same. So like, just add more guns. They add the guns, and then when they spawn okay. in, they spawn in at a certain rate on top of all the guns that are already in the game. Don't don't start replacing the vector with the like cool. Right. I, uh, thanks for the four 
four round flip and a vector full auto. Appreciate it. Can't even kill anybody with that. So, um, uh, but as, as what we want to see and what everyone is whining about so much and so mad about in the Battle Royale series is the developers just right not not improving the game quick enough. So if they are doing a job, and I'm excited to see where they go. Right. Trevor, I know you have to right. get going here, so we yep. should probably close up. But we're going to be playing some Path of Exile next week, is that or this next week? Is that kind of where we're going to be hanging out and doing a little bit? Yeah. So for this next week, guys, uh, we're going to we next week we're going to shoot to talk about Path of Exile. Um, I'm also going to try uh, uh, give maybe give a couple hours to Dauntless. Dauntless looks cool. Um, what is it's that? It's an RPG. Uh, Daunt- Dauntless is an Dauntless. RPG co-op game with some elements of. Uh, uh, it's all PVE based. You know, you upgrade weapons. And oh you do yeah! All kinds. Somebody sent me. A it link looks to like this. Fortnite though. Like the the graphics graphically Dude. looks very similar to Fortnite. So it looks cool. I mean, I'm I've I've kind of allocated a budget to like try new games and and do the stuff. I've tried to make an effort to do these things. Uh, Path of Exile, for those of you that don't know, is an ARPG. Uh, looks like Diablo. It's free to play. And there's just micro transactions everywhere, but you don't have to do them. Um, it's just, they went that, they went that route with it, but, um, the skill tree is you go cross-eyed. If you look at it too long. Yeah. You're like scrolling and you're, it's this whole huge thing, uh, which, which makes the customization of what your character does is just here's the thing. So here's the thing. People won't go and like read a book a year. That's something that's some weird statistic. Like 80% of people won't even read a full book a year. But I know of people who have that skill tree basically memorized. Read a book. <laughs> Just read a book, okay? Because <laughs> Kill a Mockingbird, great it. book. <laughs> to, to kill um, a yes, any book that you read in high school counts. Yes. So uh, uh, those are the things we're going to look to play this week. We're going to add. Um, hopefully, I'll have some good insight on Dauntless Path of Exile. I'm sure we can go in deep uh, and talk. Uh, maybe yeah. we'll, I'll do a couple characters, mess around with them, uh, give them, especially this weekend, I would love to give them uh, a couple heavy blocks of time and we can discuss them. Sure. Um, and uh, uh, maybe, you know, there possibly be a, a another game. Again, guys, first episode doing this, winging it. Uh, things are going to to coalesce here into something that is <laughs> yeah. that is consistent every week and we come up with our format. Uh, I do have a professional podcaster as my co-host here we just um, so wrong it man we're just like you know just, what let's just not plan too much let's not try to make it too too much anything else let's try and make it like you know that that's our own thing right and and just gonna see how it goes and so that's what this episode has been and it'll change a lot but it was fun it was it was a lot, was yes. a lot more fun than i thought it would be waking up at 7 30 in the morning i'm gonna be yes. honest all right, uh, well, that concludes your first episode of the weekly intake with the little PJ Salt logo up there. Um, I am Trevor May. That has been Kicked Tripod, and we will see you next week on episode two. Have a good day, guys. Bye. I can't find the thing. There it is.